Hi friends and welcome to the Little Reeser house. I'm Amber. Today I was thinking about how my daughter's first birthday is in a week, which feels absolutely surreal. This year has flown by, but at the same time, it's been the longest year of my life. We have seen so many changes in this year, as you can just imagine. So much joy, so much love, some really big, awesome moments. But then at the same time, there's been a lot of tears, there's been a lot of learning, a lot of frustration, but it's just been such a wonderful experience. And I really, really wanted to celebrate her first birthday because it marks such a milestone getting through this first year all together. Now, I know first birthdays can be a little bit of a hot topic. In some ways, people think, yeah, let's do it, it's a big occasion. And on another side, people think they're only one, they're not going to remember anything. I really wanted to celebrate. I think it's a special occasion, and even though it is about my daughter and her birthday, in a lot of ways, it's really about us as our family and the way that we have grown and changed over this year. We have a lot of awesome friends and family in our lives who really, really carried us through this year. They helped us so much and they just pour into my daughter Mabel and her life and are so willing to just love her and care for her as much as we do. And so they mean a lot to us and we really wanted to be able to celebrate this day with them. Obviously gathering together as a group of people isn't going to happen this year, but thankfully there are other means through technology that we can virtually gather people together. And so we're going to do that so we can still celebrate, but there are a few things I wanted to do to just make the day feel a little bit extra special and really honor it for what it is. I thought today I'd bring you along as I prepare some of the things for her party and show you some of the ideas I had and maybe it will inspire you to do something similar for the special occasions that are coming up in your life. We spent a lot of time at the zoo this past year and seeing the cheetahs became one of Mabel's favorite exhibits. We love cats around here, so I want to incorporate a hint of a big cat theme for her celebration and use a fun color palette of coral, blush, mint, and yellow. I'm going to keep things simple, but have come up with three different elements to make the occasion special. First, a small cake for her to enjoy. I'm going to use a sugarless banana muffin recipe and simply decorate it with whipped cream dyed a soft pink. Second, some small treats to deliver to our local friends and family who will be tuning in. I want them to feel connected to the party and think this will be a great way to incorporate the big cat theme. Finally, a bit of decor to set the mood. We already have a great cat print that hangs in Mabel's bedroom, but I'd love to DIY a balloon arch in the party colors to bring some extra fun. I'm going to get the favors together first so we can get them delivered a day or two before the party. I'd like to pull together a little package of sweets and have an idea for a custom sticker. Before I create the design on my computer, I'm going to do things the old fashioned way and create the artwork with some acrylics and a black sharpie. I'm painting two different big cats who are ready to party. Next, I brought the artwork into Illustrator and created a couple of designs, printed them on sticker paper and cut them out using a Cricut machine. These stickers will go on the front of a plastic package I purchased from an online party store. All the resources are linked below. I also included a little message on a circular sticker as a thank you to our friends and family. Next, I made a big batch of chocolate peanut butter puppy chow. If you aren't already familiar with puppy chow, you mix melted chocolate with peanut butter and distribute it over plain Czech cereal. You then shake it with icing sugar and add any mix-ins you desire. I linked the recipe I used in the video description, but it's pretty fail-proof regardless of the recipe you follow. Be warned, it's highly addictive. I added my stickers to the plastic sleeves and scooped some of the puppy chow into each package, transforming it into a delicious mix of big kitty kibble. We delivered the treats with an invitation to the Zoom party we had scheduled for the birthday. I also made sure I had the balloons ready, which I ordered from an online retailer a couple of weeks in advance. Then, I baked the muffin batter in two small 4-inch cake pans the day before her birthday so they'd be ready to go. Yeah. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yay! You're one! You're one! I 
already believe it, but it is birthday day and Mabel is just playing. I'm just having my morning coffee. In light of her birthday and this video, I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts because I know that not a lot of people are totally into the idea of doing a birthday party. For me, I love doing stuff like this and um, it's really important to me that people feel loved and celebrated on their birthday. I think it's a really good opportunity to show people that we care about them and love them. And so putting things together for her, it gives me a chance to reflect and I just love doing crafty things. So this is really enjoyable for me. That's why I'm doing it. But I just wanted to say that so you don't feel pressure to go all out with things or feel like you have to do so many details what you do is perfect and so don't feel the pressure um, I'm just doing this because I love it and it brings me joy and it brings me an opportunity to just express my gifts and the things that I like for the people that I love so for the balloon arch I was looking up tutorials on Pinterest about how to put it together um, it looks like most of them say you need balloon tape and you need a glue, hot glue gun that doesn't get really hot, which are two things I don't have. I'm not planning on getting them, so I'm going to improvise. I have a few ideas that could work. It might be a little bit of a hack show, but I'm just using what I have, so we'll just go with it and I'm sure it will work and be fine. Other than that, I just have to get her cake together. I have it baked, I just have to make whipped cream to kind of pull it together. I think that's everything. <laughs> okay. Other than that, we are just going to celebrate today and enjoy it. When Mabel went down for a nap, I blew up a pile of balloons in the various colors and sizes. I set up her chair and hung the art print above it as a starting point. I started by bunching the mint and yellow standard size balloons together with string and hung the bunches together on the wall using push pins. I laid out the general shape I wanted the arch to be. Next, I bunched together a couple of the mini coral and blush balloons and used them to fill between the bigger balloons. What you can't see here is a ton of string, a ton of tacks, and even some double-sided tape to hold the balloons in place. It wasn't pretty from behind, but the finished product looked exactly as I imagined. Finally, I whipped up some whipped cream and assembled the little cake so it was ready for party time. Just like that, we have a one-year-old. Thanks for joining me today at the Little Reeser house as I prepared for my baby's first birthday and celebrated the best that we could with our friends and family. I hope this video inspired you to still celebrate despite the fact that things are looking a little bit different right now. If you like this video, make sure you like it and leave in the comments your ideas for how to celebrate during this time of quarantine. And make sure you subscribe to this channel if you like these videos and you want to see more every week. Remember that the beauty of life is in the little things, like making the most of a simple celebration. Bye friends.